Hey, this is the shack the dentist built, and today I am with my grandson Josiah. Say hi, Josiah. Hi, Josiah. Oh, cool. And today we're going to do an unboxing, installation, and review of this. You you pronounce that? Ubiquity. I don't know. You Ubiquity. Ubiquity Networks. You Ubiquity. You big quitty. Uh, I think it's really ubiquity. Ubiqu yeah, yeah okay. Right. Ubiquity. ubiquity. We're going to do a ubiquity. It's going to unify a long range access point. And it's supposed to go a long way. Let's find out how far. What do you think? You ready to go? You ready to dig into this? Okay. What exactly is that? Though? Explain that to me. I have no idea. It's an 802.11N access point. So what this is going to do, oh yeah, by the way, before we get too far, make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel. Here we go. So this is this is it right here. This is our long range access point. What this is going to do, you hook this into your router, and what this is going to do is it's a range extender, and this is a long range one. It goes a long ways maybe almost as much as a football field. We'll find out what the exact technical stuff is. This right here, oh. this is a ceiling mount, it says. Okay. Is that what it says? Mounting we're not mounting it on the ceiling, we're mounting it on the wall. So we're gonna use the wall mount. And this is, what is this? POE, power over internet. See it right there? Power over internet, and then they have the internet there. Okay, and we got a couple of guides couple of screws, and oh, well, okay, I'm not that good. No special effects. And wow, this is really small. It's hard to read this. If you're an old guy, you're going to need a magnifying glass. So because the handwriting so small for us old people, I got my big magnifying glass. All right, so our Unify Ubiquity is going to go up there. This is the way to do it. We're putting it right up here. Oh, I'm falling. Okay, that was enough. That was stupid. Okay, so we're putting it up with these supplied wood screws. This goes down. This goes up. Oh yeah, we got the little wall mount up, and uh, now we move to the next step, which is... So our next step is we're going to plug this in, and it's real simple. You just plug it in, got a little nice little hole up there, go ahead and put it up. I'm going to mount it all the way. Yep. Oh, you're so handsome. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... Eventually, we're going to take this cord, we'll run it over this way, run it down, and hide it. So it's hiding in the possible. corner there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into the power over internet. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to connect this uh, to the LAN, the, east, the internet. Go ahead and plug that in. And then this is going to go, the other end, this is going to go the internet. So what we got is we got this cord here, the gray cord, which is going to go up to our Unify Ubiquity. This cord is going to go to the internet. This cord is going to go to power. So go ahead and plug this into the internet. We got the little bear here. Hi, little bear. Okay, so right back there we got the internet. So go ahead and pull this out. Plug it right back into one of the empty ports there. Snap it in there good. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Plug it in. Oh, right. it's orange light now. Oh, look at that. Woo, baby, we have power. Flashing. Amber, it's initializing right now. Okay, it's a steady amber. So that means it's waiting to be integrated. You have to download a little app and install the latest version all right so here we are 
with the firmware UAPLR. So UAPLR, uh, LR standing for long range. So here we are sitting on the couch waiting for Java to install. Got to install Java first. Waiting for Unify to install. Isn't this exciting? So we are about a hundred feet away in my little RV with Chafin. And we're going to log on to the new network and see how it works. So we've got an Amazon Fire going on here. So we got the Unify Ubiquity Long Range Extender up and it works pretty well. It doesn't go as long as we'd like. It doesn't go as far as we wish that it did. It has a little interference through the walls and things like that. Uh, it was a little bit of a pain in the rear to find the correct software and patches. It would have been nice if it just automatically set up, which it didn't. But after we got it running, it's been running very consistently and, and strongly now for quite some time. We're very happy with it as it is. So this is the shack that Dennis built. And that is how you put up a Unify Ubiquity Long Range Extender at the shack that Dennis built. Make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel so you can get updates on all my videos.